In this experiment, we've measured the size of bacterial populations in luminescence units as a function of time in the presence of three different concentrations of bacterial surface cleaners. And in this particular analysis, we want to see if there is a difference between concentrations C2 and C3 over this central growth period and we want to see if there is a significant difference in the two slopes for C2 and C3. And for that we'll enter the data into Minitab. In the data column we have the bacterial population expressed in luminescence units as a function of time for the two concentrations of cleaner, C3 and C2. And we wish to use this data to illustrate the difference between using the general regression model as compared to just performing a simple linear regression. So we'll start with the general regression approach with stat regression, general regression. The response is the bacterial population, the data, and we consider this data to be dependent on the time and the concentration of the surface cleaner, but also on the interaction between the two, which we'll express as time multiplied by concentration, and we run the analysis. The results of the general regression calculation is printed in the session window as an ANOVAR table showing the significance of the different factors with their p-values. Clearly time with a near zero p-value is a significant factor, which is not surprising because we know the bacterial concentration was increasing with time. In terms of the average bacterial populations, there is not a significant difference between the two concentrations of cleaner. However, the significant factor here is the interaction term in that the rate of change of bacterial population with time does depend on the concentration of cleaner with a p-value of 0.015 expressed to two significant figures. So the data shows there is a significant difference in the slopes of the two growth curves for C2 and C3. With the general regression model, we were able to do that calculation using the time, the data and the concentration expressed in these three variables. However, if we wanted to use ordinary linear regression, we would have to express the concentration as a numeric variable, which we do with concentration n, using values 1 and 2 to represent the two different cleaners. And we would also have to include the interaction term by a new variable, interact, which is the simple product of time and concentration n. 60 times 1 is 60, or down here, 65 times 2 is 130. So we can now use stat regression and use a simple regression model. Again, the response is data but the predictors must now be numeric variables, which will be the time, the concentration expressed as concentration N, and the interaction when we click OK. And we now see that the printed output gives the same significant values, the significance of time with a near zero p-value, but particularly the interaction term gives a p-value of zero 0.015, showing that the interaction of time and concentration is significant. The two slopes are different. 